Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to go over viewport display options in Unity. We'll talk about the display options, multiple viewports, and viewport camera settings. By coming up to the toolbar and clicking on Shaded, you'll show a whole list of different options. These are your display options. We won't go into detail about these in this video. This is where you can debug materials and lighting. Next, we have a way to look at different view angles. So if you come over to this gizmo in the right hand corner and you click on any of these axes, it's a fast way to get different camera angles. Below this gizmo, we have a toggle for perspective and isometric. Isometric is also known as orthographic. So when you switch this to isometric, you're taking all of the perspective out and flattening the viewport. If you want multiple viewports to work with, you can do that by coming up to Window, Layouts, and you have a few options here. You might want to do this if you're moving an object in one viewport and you're trying to line it up in another. Next, let's talk about the viewport camera settings. So if you come up to the viewport toolbar, you'll see this camera drop down. When you click on it, you'll see three main options, field of view, clipping, and occlusion calling. As you lower the field of view, it'll seem like you're zooming in at first, but what you're really doing is you're taking the perspective out of the camera. In a way, an orthographic camera is a perspective camera with all of the perspective taken out. Now clipping, this lets us exclude some of the scene geometry to view or render in the scene. This is usually used for performance or optimization. Now let me show you an example. We need to disable dynamic clipping and we're going to adjust the near clip plane. And what you'll see is as we increase the near plane, the sooner it starts to clip geometry. And as we decrease the far plane, the sooner it'll start the clip geometry. If we turn on dynamic clipping, Unity kind of takes care of this for us. Next, we have occlusion calling. This is also a performance thing. If you turn this on, any geometry outside your viewport camera won't be rendered. So the last thing to mention are gizmos. So your transform gizmos move, rotate, and scale. You can adjust them, but they will dynamically adjust as you move in and out of the viewport. But some other objects in the engine will have an icon that represents them. And you can adjust the size of them and the visibility of them by coming up to gizmos and clicking on gizmos to turn them off or on, or you can click on this drop down. And next to the 3D icons, there's a scale. If you adjust this, you'll change the scale of them in the viewport. All right, in the next video, we're going to cover playing the project. If you guys liked this video and it was helpful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.